Tam counted four harem boys in all, including now. Lord Angelo obviously favoured a very specific type. All of them were in their teens and heartbreakingly beautiful, with slender limbs and hair cut at about chin length. Many of them wore jewellery of some kind or other, an earring, a belly ring, and perhaps other kinds of rings in more private places. Their personalities seemed to range from the shy, self-effacing now to the impish begarment of the blonde boy who was even now leading Ander out of the room by the hand. Maybe Angelo liked to have a variety of them to choose between, depending on his mood. Or maybe they each served a different function when they all lay together. Just what was the relationship like between an eccentric rich lord and the members of his harem? Tam could understand Danny's curiosity about them. He chewed on the inside of his cheek, glancing at Brand. You really should go with them, you know. Brand's eyes narrowed. His posture was stiff. I don't think so. Why not? Tam was honestly curious. Do you not like men? That, from what he surmised from Brand's expression, was not the case. Or is it that you don't like horse? Officer Chamberlain, Charon said from the other end of the table suffers from a deplorable excess of morality. He feels that selling sex for money is dishonest. An interesting point of view. It wasn't one Tam particularly understood, but he chose not to comment on it. But there's no money involved right now, he pointed out. It's just a group of people having fun together. Aren't you even just a little bit curious? He could feel the intensity of Charon's attention on their conversation, even though he had apparently turned back to his meal. Brand turned to look at the room's doorway, his expression turning uncertain. It's not that I think there's anything wrong with what you boys do. You're free to sell whatever you need to in order to make a living. Clearly the admission was difficult for him. It's just that... He shook his head, looking rueful. I think you're all a bit more used to this kind of thing than I am. Tam smiled. Maybe a private room then? He asked softly. Brand stared at him his eyes narrowing once he realised what Tam was offering. Look, I don't know what you... It's not a bribe, Tam said firmly, pushing himself up from his chair. It's not a trick or a trap or a hoax. Egad, the man had to be making this deliberately difficult. Anyone with half a brain could see that he wanted to get in there and join them, but was feeling too inhibited to do so. You're a part of us now, whether you want to be or not. Don't tell me you haven't felt it. Brand's eyes were very round. He didn't object to Tam's evaluation of the situation, however, which Tam took to be a very good sign. Come on. Tam reached for Brand's hand and tugged lightly. Let's just go see what they're up to. If you don't like it, I promise we'll leave. He held his breath, not knowing if Brand's fear of the unknown would outweigh his very healthy curiosity. After a moment, Brand slowly stood up from his seat. Tam cheered silently. All right, he said, unable to hold back his grin. Let's go.